Hey, greetings. Welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give the review from a technician's point of view. And today I have some Visselwork tools, and not just any tools, I have their new click brush. I remember seeing the prototypes of this at the VDTA a few years ago, and they have finally come to market, and I'm excited to show you how this click brush system works. And before we get started, this is more of an industrial or a central vacuum product. This is probably not a product so much for the home user, Though I did test it on both SIBO and Mila canisters and found that it works just fine. So do with that information as you will. We've also seen these click brushes in the narrow versions for sale on the SIBO UK models. For some reason, those SIBO UK models with the click brush have never come here to the United States. So I'm looking at you, John, bring us some click brushes. Anyways, back to Visselwork. If you're not familiar with Visselwork, they are a German attachment manufacturer and they are the OEM for just about every vacuum manufacturer that is somewhat decent. They have made products for Dyson over the years. They've made a lot of central vacuum stuff. They make the Mila attachments, etc., etc. You probably have something from them. And if you look at this little symbol here, just look for that molded into one of your attachments somewhere. You probably have something from them. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do videos about once a week. So I want to give you a quick overview of what the click brush is. So it's a floor tool that also has an upholstery tool or maybe a rug tool. It's kind of an in-between size. It's about 10 inches in the nozzle, and then you can click it out, as the name implies. And there are several different brushes you can put in and several different sizes. There's anywhere from 11.5 inches up to a larger 28-inch brush. For this video, we're going to be testing the 14-inch size. I think this is the size that probably makes the most sense for most people. There is a squeegee attachment. There is a hard floor brush. And there's what they call a speed glide. Fastly glides over a carpet. It's a really cool accessory. And it seems to do all right with pet hair, but not great. And remember, it's really meant for commercial style carpet. The tools that I have in this video appear to be made in Germany. They're really high quality. And there's something about this. When you pick these up, you can just feel it in the tool. The pedal of which the different heads interchange onto the click brush is really solid. And you can see they easily interchange. So if you wanted to switch between carpet and hard floor, simply by clicking the brush, this is pretty easy to do. So I did a variety of pickup tests, both on hard floor and carpet the squeegee, the speed glide, and the hard floor tool with the bristles on it. Let me show you what the results are. Feel free to kind of skip around in the chapters for which flooring you're most interested in. All right, you're going to see these demonstrated with a few different machines here so that you get a real idea with what machine you might have. We have a SIBO E3, a Mila C3, and we have a VacuFlow DB9000. Let's start with our usual mess, cat litter, fresh pet hair, breakfast cereal, and flour. Well, picked up the fine stuff. It did snow plow a little bit of cat litter, and it did bring a little bit of breakfast cereal as well. But it did really well, despite, again, just being your basic floor tool. And this is the medium-sized one. This is like the 14-inch one. I got the widest attachment, and I put it on the end of a Mila C3. I kind of want to see if the Mila will pick it up, considering it has less suction than an industrial vacuum or a central vacuum. Well, I guess the answer is yes, but a little bit slower. Again, I put the widest attachment on the end of a portable vacuum, this time a SIBO E3. I just want to see how it does. That did really well. So next up is the squeegee attachment, which I really believe is for wet pickup, but I think it will be pretty good on pet hair, on certain types of flooring for high pet hair, volume customers. So let's see how that is. And again, we have the same animal hair, cat litter, fine dirt, and some breakfast cereal. Do you need me to describe those results? It did really, really well. And I think the reason for that, this being for wet pickup, 
these squeegees are actually making contact with the floor. So I think if you had delicate floor, you wouldn't really want that. But if you had engineered floor and you wouldn't mind a little bit of extra resistance, that might be a use case scenario for the squeegee. You saw how it just inhaled the pet fur. I know these are made for wet pickup. And no, don't use these for wet pickup with a dry vacuum cleaner. I really think this rubberized tool has a place in your arsenal if you have a lot of pet hair. Now, just to satisfy curiosity, I put the squeegee attachment on the end of the central vacuum, and I'm using it on an area rug that's rubber-backed. It seemed to do all right with the pet hair. Again, not as good as a rotating brush, but decent for just being straight suction. The next attachment is the speed glide, and here is the prototype footage from at the trade show years ago. I want you to just compare this with the finished product. Also, you might use headphones. The sound of all the cat litter in this test coming up through the hose is rather nice. comes out on camera just how satisfying that sound is when you're using this and it really does seem to pick up things quite well the first pass so even though I am doing two passes it might not be necessary depending on what you're trying to pick up As you can see, once you get over the threshold of the differences between carpets, this thing just adjusts and works. It pushes just as easily on this really high pile soft carpet to the left as it does to the builder grade carpet on the right. We're going to do our standard pickup test of fresh pet hair, cat litter, fine sand, and uh, breakfast cereal here and see how the speed glide does on this thick plush carpet. So the first thing that's really amazing about this attachment is there's no cat litter left whatsoever. The fine sand seems to be picked up. There's a little bit left on the edges, but if you see where it's left, it's left where the nozzle wasn't making contact with the edge. So that's good. It picked up all the breakfast cereal. I think I hit a piece over here, but that's good. Where it did struggle with, and again, there's no rotating roller, is it struggled on the edge with the pet hair. And the reason for that, as we can see, is the only thing that's going to help this with pet hair pickup is this lint picker in the middle. Wasn't It did struggle a little bit with that. But overall, that did really good. And that's better than a lot of vacuums with the brush roller that we've tested on the channel. And this is just using just straight suction. It's really quite amazing. Now the thing I did notice is when you pull this off and you have like the upholstery tool shaped object here, if we use this for pet hair pickup, watch this. Now, we see the pet hair is gone when we used this with the lint picker. So it is even capable of doing a little bit of pet hair. Again, this is a really small, maybe eight inches. So you probably don't want to use that on your entire piece of wall-to-wall -wall carpet if that's what you're trying to clean. But I think if you're trying to clean something in a commercial setting, which is kind of what this is intended to, or a really large area with area rugs, I think this is going to get the job done for you. And it's really fast. The width of this and how easily this glides it's faster than a brush roller because you don't get the resistance of the rolling brush and it's a lot easier to push than something like a traditional switchable floor tool. Let's see how fine debris 
a high pile carpet is to pick up with the speed glider. Well, I think those results speak for themselves. So I think one of the reasons why the speed glider and the really wide hard floor tools work is you can see that the channel is not flat. It's got a taper to it. And I think what this does is concentrate the suction on the edges properly. I think there's some sorcery going on right there that this floor tool being this wide works. And give you an idea, this floor tool is longer than my arm. In conclusion, these click brushes are really ingenious. They seem really well built, pretty rugged, and it's a quick way to change out your attachments without having to remove it from the wand. And that little upholstery tool slash floor tool with the lint pickers is super handy if you just have to pick up a little bit of pet hair on an area rug. I also think that the wider tools, particularly if you have a larger house with a central vacuum, are absolutely worth picking up. I know right now you can get these through your vacuum flow dealer, but I'll try to put links below to all this stuff. And if you don't see that right when this video is posted, understand that it might take a little while for some of the stuff to trickle on down through distributors and so forth. So thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below on what your favorite Vissel Work tool is that you own. Big thank you to Vissel Work for sending me these attachments and have yourself a fantastic day.